Good morning, folks. Well, this is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead. I want to show you um, what's popping up. Okay, the other day we planted beans. I planted three rows of beans here, peanuts here, three rows, and three rows of beans here. And those are the beans. I can't remember the name of them. But I had a pretty good amount of them. So I figured I'd try them out. Um, I'm going to put some beans in some other beds too. So the, be the, pe the, little, the peanuts are just starting to pop a little bit. You see them laying on top for some reason. That one right there has got some leaves. But check this out. Look how long that earthworm is. That's just to show you, is as long as my hand. <laughs> well, I, he's, that must, it must be because it's really wet that he's up on the top. Hi folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, I just got done filling my newest green stock with soil, well, uh, potting soil, and seeds. So, I was going to plant flowers in this and I thought, no, I can plant flowers in the ground. I'm going to, I'm going to plant, I'm going to plant some things that I want to grow and I'm gonna do it out front and see how it does under this shady um, tree because maybe it'll help with the heat and humidity. I planted some um, uh, tomatoes, uh, small tomatoes um, that they send for, with seeds and I thought oh, I'd try these out and see if I like them. Let me show you what it looks like. So I got the new Glacier Blue, and I love it. Um, the pictures make it look a little lighter than it actually is, but check this out. My posts are blue, and they have faded, so they need to be definitely repainted. And I'm going to paint the door blue, uh, the door frame there, the wood part. And I don't know if I'm going to actually paint the door itself blue, but I might. But... Uh, I think that would be a little, real pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in this spot or not, but for now, that's his home. And this time I got the roller around thing for the bottom because I found with these heavy things, I like to have a way to be able to move them and turn them as I wish. So I did go ahead and uh, get that. <laughs> Two this time um, it has been a super busy time for me right now sorry that I don't have more videos up I know I've been doing videos of all this work done around here uh, and I'll take you around here and show you some of it oh look at the butterflies I have been I have been blessed with tons of butterflies this year so y'all remember just last week I planted this bed out and uh, let me just say I'm just amazed uh, a lot of the um, peanuts are even coming up so that's really fantastic all the beans have come up I'm hoping that these are a bean that I like and that I will continue to grow year to year I, I replanted some um, um, onions that were going to go out that I couldn't eat before I get back. I got a couple of things on discount. I got a Cavendosh Dwarf Banana and a um, fig tree. Now I am going to take these um, leaves off at the bottom that are brown and stuff and I'm going to uh, replant that in one of those big pots back there let's see 
the uh, doesn't look like the watermelons have popped up at all yet neither side so hopefully it'll continue to rain while I'm gone so I don't have to worry about everything dying off we are going to hold off on these two beds filling them uh, till we get back that bed I'm going to empty turn it this way and bring it closer to the house so that I can have my garbage cans and stuff sitting over there and you know David's going to bring the trailer back here and park it right there so um, it'll give us some space between that I believe Oh, and I have, I thought I saw some, hopefully, some fruit on here. Y'all know me, the silly girl I am. I pulled that fruit off, and I didn't test to see if it was ripe, and it was not ripe, and I was very disappointed. So, that's my fault. I'm out of a good, good, good uh, fruit. Anyways, so these will be cleaned up whenever we get back. And everything's looking good. I'm actually going to get some blooms this year on my uh, elderberries. I can't believe, I cannot believe that they have not bloomed. Maybe it's because they were so, you know, filled up there with all that other chaos over there that they weren't blooming but the the saplings and stuff that are popping up we've got to get out of there too because I don't know what they are and I don't know why all that stuff's popping up um, at first I thought they might be the uh, um, trying to think there's a tree that I want really badly tastes like bananas um, I can't think of it right offhand anyways Roy had given me some and I tried to plant them and they didn't make it I planted them back here but these are not them I don't believe I believe these are just uh, weeds just be saying weeds I believe they're weeds so, got to take care of all these bricks, too, and do something with them. But, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, got tons of stuff going on. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to make that crazy. So, since I brought you in before, I got this mulch. I brought um, a truckload, and then David brought me um, a uh, trailer load, put on his lawn trailer. Same, both of them were a cubic foot, so uh, we're going to spread that, continue spread that out around there, take out that green weeds and stuff, and the whole grass and stuff. I want ever all the grass and stuff gone. I just walk on this mulch. So that's what's going on. I still didn't get to chip that stuff up, but I will hopefully before we go. Uh, got most of my plants put over there in the row and just everything's working out perfectly. Um, I do need to bring in this, well, it seems to be doing good. Maybe I'll leave it there. That pineapple Becky accidentally broke, so I just stuck it down in the ground there. I'm hoping that it roots, but the pineapple on the top is not ripe yet, not even ready. And it won't be long till it is ready, but uh, hmm. I didn't want to lose that at all. But I might. 
but I can take the top of it off and uh, plant it. See, it literally broke off down there. So that's what happens when you're trying to clean up and clean out. Accidents happen, so not a big deal. But I've got another pineapple around here that's gonna give me a fruit. And I gotta get all this cleaned out here too. Strawberries aren't doing anything, but I've got that one right there that's fruited up too. And these pineapples are getting much bigger. Very happy with them. Those are these littler ones. Those are the ones that I cut in quarters of the of the um, pineapple. So they're looking really nice. I had some bigger pineapples in here, and David went through there to take out some stuff and trampled them down. So I don't know if they'll ever come back, but oh well. <sighs> Anyways, I've got tons of stuff going on here, and I can't wait to see this pop out and go crazy. Beautiful. Uh, I am going, I didn't plant the top of this yet because I'm going to put mint in there. Hopefully peppermint. I've got to look through my seeds and see if I can find some peppermint because I don't want the squirrels jumping down on here and trying to deal with this. So that's why I left these tops open. Oh my goodness, this makes me so very happy. Check out this. This is just absolutely divine. I, I'm so excited. Look at all the strawberries. Oh, I just broke that. Oh, doggone it. Anyways. Mm, that smells good, good. <laughs> Even though I broke it, dog on it. <laughs> so, these strawberries are doing fantastic out here. <laughs> and I am going to go ahead and pick the ones that are ripe. <laughs> See, there's more back here. <laughs> 